Behind Lightning is a fully open source platform which enables governments and NGOs to automate their most critical processes so they can be more efficient, effective and scalable. It allows you to do things like batch sync data from one system to another, refer a case from one NGO to their partner, send SMS reminders or email notifications to patients and beneficiaries, update monitoring and evaluation reports, or sync clinic data to a national level system. All of this automatically and without requiring the need for manual, repetitive and highly error prone work. This is achieved by building workflows. A workflow is a series of steps or jobs that happens automatically at a given point in time. This sample workflow is connecting Kobo Toolbox, a data collection app, to DHIS2, a digital health information system. Whenever a form is submitted in Kobo, we're checking the age of the patient that's been submitted to make sure they're over 18 months. Then we're converting the data so that it fits the format expected by DHIS2 before uploading it to that system. To build a workflow in OpenFN, all you have to do is define a job for each step you want to automate. Jobs are defined by their trigger, adapter, credential, and job expression. And these all correspond to when you want something to happen, where it should happen, how to connect to that system, and what you want the action to be. The trigger could be a webhook event if you want your job to run when something happens in an external system, or it could be a cron schedule if you want your job to run at a recurring point in time. The adapters allow you to connect to different systems. OpenFN has out-of-box adapters for many systems like Asana, DHIS2, Google Sheets, and much more. But we also have an HTTP adapter, which means that you can use OpenFN to connect to any system. The common adapter is used to perform simple data manipulations in OpenFN before the data gets forwarded to the next system. Once you've built your workflows, you can head to the history page to monitor all of your workflow activity. Using the filters, you can quickly identify workflow executions that need your attention. By expanding your workflow execution that fails, you can identify which step went wrong and click on the run itself to see what the error is. Once you've updated your job so that the issue has been addressed, you can rerun that same workflow execution from the start or from the step that failed. This will create a new attempt within the same workflow execution and update the final status, which means that you can easily see there is no longer any issue that needs your attention and every piece of data has been eventually processed correctly. If you want to track how a specific patient has been processed, you can search in the search bar to find that specific workflow execution. By heading to the settings, you can configure failure alerts so you're notified via email whenever a workflow execution fails. You'll get the email with the job log so that you can see what the error is and a link to the run itself if you'd like to go and debug it. OpenFN allows you to add users to a project as editor, admin, or viewer for better fine-grained access control of who can edit which resources. You can also configure weekly, monthly, or daily digests to receive a summary of your project activity. For administrators, they can easily manage projects and users in OpenFN, configure authentication so that their users can log in through a preferred system, and they also have access to a full audit trail that shows each user and resource they have updated for better accountability. If you'd like to find out more about OpenFN Lightning, make sure to head to our documentation page and follow the Lightning Quick Start, which talks through this sample workflow I just explained. You can also head to our community page and ask any questions to our team there.